Okay, Allah my kaho. Uh, welcome to our I call all over your Hawaiian lunch class. Today is Kala Elua o Pepe Luali, Pepo Alua Keia. And today we're going to be talking about Opa'a number 16. Okay. Um, agenda for today, you guys know the drill. And you know, the usual. Let's just put our names and where we're from in the chat. If you're joining us for the first time, Aloha my kako and Nahomana. Welcome to our Aika Olalo virtual Hawaiian language class. Ova Okeia Okumu Kanu Ola Solatorio, Abir Kumu. Um, and my partner is not here. She's doing things, kind things, so she's not here. Um, but yeah. And then Nohoa Oma Kivalo Uka Ma O Ahunu. So yeah, if you guys can answer, even the ones who have been here forever, um, if you can answer your name and where you're from, just kind of like a short introduction to our new Haumana too. Okay. And then I'm going to get some of our new Haumana to read our um, Loina. So each class we have uh, these rules that we follow, kind of Loina that we follow, just to make sure class goes well. Um, so if you can please turn on your mic for me. Um, Meleka, English. If you can read this first one for us. Enkala mai, aloha mai kako. Aloha. Um, na loi na values. Maka olelo Hawaii vale? Na mea ilo, okay, aloha. Um, we will practice the following values in this class. Aloha ke kahi ke kahi. Love one another. We are an ohana. Ho ihi aku. Ho ihi aku. Ho ihi mai. Be respectful on camera and in the chat. E kulia ikanu'u. Strive to be the very best you can be. A'a ikaolelo mai hila hila. Dare to speak, don't be shame in class. Mahalo. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so yeah, those are our loina, um, as you may have already known. Just a few things for us to follow and a, a good reminder for us in every day, um, every day life, I guess. Okay, is there only a homai, any volunteers to start us off? Yeah. Yeah. Lani? Oh, yeah. Thank you. And you're a new home on it too. Where, um, where are you joining us from? Uh, WCC. Okay, okay. And Meleka, where are you joining us from? Why Ohuli Maui. Oh, Maui, right, Maui. Hello. AKA yeah. Kahalu'u Oahu. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kamailani, if you can give us the starting pitch for Eho Mai. Eho Mai, ha. Eho Mai, Kaike Mai, Luna Mai, Eo Na Me Ahuna No E Ao, O Na Me Le. Eho Mai, Eho Mai, Eho Mai, Eho Mai. I don't know how much you want me to do. Three, three, you know. E ho mai kai ke mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e a o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai kai ke mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e a o na me le e ho Eh, oh my, eh, oh my. Eh, ah, thank you, thank you, mahalo. Um, can we all give her mahalos? Because this is her first class, and she's mahalo noi. Yeah, ah, ika olelo. So thank you, thank mahalo. you, me. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we like to see. Because all the other homana that's been here for fifty weeks, they never like chat and lead the chat. Yeah, I'm not just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going straight into our lesson, and this is about um, this week or this month. If you didn't know, is Mahina Olelo Hawaii or Hawaiian Language Month. Um, 
for us to honor and you know celebrate our Hawaiian language, even though we should be speaking Hawaiian every day, which we I know we all try to. Um, this one, this month in particular, we're going to put a little bit more effort to do that. Um, so for Eho Pirimai on our Instagram, we're doing a month-long challenge called Me'e Olelo Hawaii. Eho Pirimai, Me'e Olelo Hawaii. Me'e Olelo Hawaii. Okay. Um, and Me'e Olelo Hawaii is your Hawaiian language heroes. Um, so I chose 28 Hawaiian language heroes that you may be familiar with, some that you may not know. Um, and we're going to be learning about something that they said, a quote, as well as their legacy as a um, kanaka or as a Hawaiian language teacher, learner, uh, scholar, all of those things. Okay, so um, the next four weeks, the opa are going to be a little bit different, and you may have gotten that right in your Google Classroom um, with our new kind of background print from Kako Collective, so Mahalo Kako Collective. For making us the print but um okay so let's just we'll go right into it this week we're going to be talking about our well pule kahi um the first seven me'e that i chose um which are right here in this picture at the top but we're just going to go into it it might be a little bit different from how we normally do class but it's still going to be my kahi and you're still going to learn some hawaiian so let's do it okay so while we get started our first question i'm going to have Ivy, can you read this uh, first part for us right here? Kalamai, your mic. Kalamai. <laughs> me'e olelo Hawaii means Hawaiian language hero. Who are some of your me'e olelo Hawaii? Okay, mahalo. So if you can answer that for me in the chat, like who do you look up to um, as a Hawaiian language hero in your life? Uh, whether that be your kupuna, your kumu, or a teacher that you may have outside of Eho Pirimai. Um, yeah, it, that would be good if you can just type your answer in the chat. And then I'll probably call on a few of you um, if you guys want to share. Good, that's a great example. Lili'u, Antiziana, yes. Okay, Alonzo, if you need help, let me know. Mahalo Reef, thank you. Oh. Thank you. No, you don't need to write me. No, 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 I'm not, no. Stop. Kumu Snowbird, yes, exactly. Clinton kind of had it. Okay, so while you guys keep typing those in, Ruth Kelly Kolani, yes. Um, for me, I have two, and they're a little bit different. Well, one is my papa, uh, my mom's dad, who, um, he, you know, he was a part of the generation where they were banned from speaking and they were punished for speaking Hawaiian. They were only rewarded for speaking English or like, you know, congratulated when they spoke English. So um, even through all of those hard times, he still chose to speak Hawaiian and know some Hawaiian and he didn't forget it. So he, every time all, when we were growing up, he would say small words here and there, which, you know, Kulikuli, you know, all those easy ones that our kupuna know, but I'm sure all of your kupuna have experienced similar um, strug struggles with their Hawaiian language identity. So he's definitely one of my Olal Hawaii heroes. And the second, surprisingly, is Student Cousin Kathy. Um, the reason why is because her too. She had that little, that weird relationship with Olalo where um, she thought that there was no money, there was no, there's nothing in Olalo. Um, until recently, when we started Eho Pini Mai, now she's like really getting into it and she really has a passion and aloha for Olalo Hawaii. Even though she's not in class tonight, the heck. Um, but, you know, I really appreciate her um, uh -uh, challenging herself to speak Hawaiian and learn Hawaiian, even at the young age of 61. Um, she's still taking on that kuleana. So those are my two heroes. and. Um, yeah, I'm loving all the heroes that you guys are writing as well. Uh, she was calling a new person. Um, who's there? Who is new? I don't even know. Um, okay. Kayona, would you mind reading this bottom Olono Eo for us? And Aloha, welcome. Aloha. I ike ia no ke kanaka no kalahui ma kana olelo. 
Indeed, the language of a person reveals their nationality. Oh, so beautiful how you said that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, this is a new, kind of relatively new, a little note for me, but it's kind of pertinent and important to this me'e olal Hawaii thing because all of these people were identified or were known for their language actions, what they did with the language, what they continue to do with the language. Um, so, you know, that's how you know someone is from a place or someone is of that nation. Pamela, you can tell by when she starts speaking, she's from Mexico and she has a lot of aloha for her Mexican lahui. Oh, are we frozen? We're frozen. Are we frozen? No! Can we make class? I'm in class. Sorry, I think we're frozen. My bad. Okay, so again, I think I was talking about Pamela. Sorry, I was using your example again. But um, we know you're from Mexico because of the way you speak and your aloha for your Mexican heritage. Akiko, we know you're from Japan um, from the way you speak. And then just your aloha for Nihongo and the Japanese people. So for us in Hawaii, this is our identity. Our language is our identity. And I can go on and on and on, but I'm not. Okay, so just know you are who you are because of your language and because of your um, your love for your Olal Hawaii. Okay? All right, so let's get into our first Me'e Olalo Hawaii. Um, if you can type in the chat privately, Ovai Keia Me'e Olalo Hawaii. Who is this Hawaiian language hero? And you know, this isn't literally her, it's just a depiction of her, but yeah. <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Okay. Nah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, no worries. If you don't know, that's my cut. You just put, I don't know. Okay, so this picture is actually from the Puke, um, on New Puke, and this me'e, ovaike ya me'e o la Hawaii. Um, Kerry Kaupe, can you answer that for me with this answer down here? Ovaike ya me'e o la Hawaii. O hi'iaka i kapolio pele ke ya me'e o la Hawaii. Okay, so hi'iaka i kapolio pele, this is a picture of her, a depiction of her. Um, and she, in my opinion, is a Hawaiian language hero. A little bit different because you know back in that time of ancientness all they did was speak Hawaiian you know there was no other language back then but for me she is um, very important to our history and our people um, because of a few things and we're gonna um, go through this paragraph together um, which you know it's just a introduction or kind of short biography about her but let's try to see if we can um, translate it line by line, okay? So I'm going to have you read this for us, starting with Iolani. Once you read it, if you guys can type your chat, your English translation or what you think it might mean in the chat for me. Um, you know, we're supposed to be the advanced class, so we're, we're going to be doing some advanced things up in here, okay? So Iolani, can you read this first line for us? He akua wahine o hi'iaka i kapolio pele. Okay, so some of these words you may know already. Let's see what you guys can come up with in the chat. Yes, good. Privately, please. Good. We know the word akua. We know the word wahine. And then hiyaka is the name when we see okina o before the name. Yeah. So, yes, good. Okay. Um, Yoleni, I'm gonna call you again. Do you know what that means? Hiiaka is a um god, a female god. Yeah, so goddess. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went blank. <laughs> no, no, no. You good? You good? So Hiiaka is a goddess. Um, you know, period. She's a goddess. The queen. Um, okay, moving on to this next one. This one is tricky, but let's just start with this first part. So going right up to here, um, Tammy, can you read up to here? 
no kahiki mai kona ohana. Good. Okay, so that one, this sentence structure you guys know. No kahiki mai kona ohana. Yeah. No kahiki mai kona ohana. Good. Kahiki, if you don't know, is a Hawaiianized version of a place. Just change the K's to T's and I think you might be able to figure it out. Okay, let's go with Bianca. What do you think that means? Lokahiki mai kona ohana. So her, her family came from Tahiti and, yep. oh. oh yeah, sorry. No, 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 you want to try the continuing on? Can you um, read that for us, that next part? Um, a ua holo moana lako me ke pai loa a pai a kui Hawaii. Okay, good. So these, um, what's it called? These words may be a little bit different and you may have not unfamiliar to these, but let's see what we do know. Okay, holo means to like what? What does holo mean? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes. And so, holo moana would be to paddle on the ocean. Lako, you guys, hopefully, you guys know what lako is. So, who paddled on the ocean? Um, and then pai. I want you guys to see if you can figure out what pai could figure could mean. Okay. So, with those hints. Let's see what you guys get with that. Okay. Good, Bianca, yeah. Good, Carly and Haley. Hey, don't cheat. Carly, you do it by yourself. Oh, you are doing it by yourself, okay. Okay, good, yes. Um, and again, this is challenging us to expand outside of what we already know. Yes, you might not be familiar with these words. Did that ever stop us before? No, because we have all these resources that can help us figure it out. Okay. Um, who wants to try and translate it? Just turn on your mic. Um, brief, if you can give us your, your interpretation of that. Uh, from where I'm starting to move? Uh, the, uh, the sailing part, or the traveling part, yeah. Sorry. So, oh. or you can do the whole thing, the whole, that whole line, no kahiki. Okay, uh, no kahiki mai kona ohana, awa holo moana la ko. And that is her family is from Kahiki and they sailed across the long sea and landed in Hawaii. Perfect. They sailed across the long ocean and landed in Hawaii. Good job. Okay. Um, so if you know the story, that's what happened. They traveled. All of the brothers and sisters traveled from Kahiki to or um, landed in Hawaii, and um, what's it called? Hiyako is actually held in whose holy, whose embrace, who held her the entire trip. I mean, it's literally in her name, but you know. Hiyako was held by, yes, Pele. So Hiyaka in Ikapolio Pele literally means Hiyaka in the bosom, bosom of Pele, okay? So that kind of gives us a foreshadowing of what's gonna happen later on, kind of. Okay, um, this next line, let's just go through this paragraph and then we'll move on. Uh, I see April, cousin April, can you read this next part for us? Oh, hikiaka polio Pele, ka kai kaina muli loa o Pele, kawahine ai honua. Okay, good. I'm going to not say anything and see what you guys can come up with. Let's see what you guys remember. Or look it up on Vehevehe if you need to look up 
Kaikaina or Muli or um, yeah, Pabahine Aihonua. It's kind of you can probably figure that out. Good job, guys. Yep, all good. Good, Matthew. Hey, aloha, Matthew. Welcome. Sorry, I've never seen you come in to the class. Mahalo for being here. Um, good. Just Jesseni, can we get your interpretation? Hiaka <clears throat> Polio Pele is the younger sister of Pele and the earth eating woman. Perfect. So she is the youngest sibling of Pele, um, the earth eating woman, which is the nickname of Pele because she literally, through her lava form, devours and eats the land. So, I mean, I would want that nickname too. I want to be the earth eating man. Okay, next. Um, so, these next parts is all of her like kuleana that she took on as a akua wahine in, back in the day. Um, so, just choose one of the kuleana after he says, He kahuna oya, he kaula oya, he hakumele oya, a he onohi hoi oya o kohula. Um, and just translate one of them in the chat. You may know maybe Hello. one or two um, words, but yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, you can come say hi. Mary. Oh, everyone, this is doing on the copy. If you don't know, this is my mom. Hi. She's doing her Kule and Akain team. So, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're doing COVID. Um, COVID vaccine. Yes. Aloha. <laughs> hey, aloha. Aloha. Hey, aloha. Anybody on here? Okay, ask them. Okay, yeah. No, you ask them. I don't even know. Okay, I'm. Check off your mask, Mark. I'm doing um COVID vaccines for Kupuna, uh, seventy and older. Anybody interested? Let me know. Let Kahana know. And it's um. You gotta be on Oahu though. Yeah, you gotta be on Oahu. So, let me know and then I can give you the details if you want. Okay? Frozen again. <laughs> okay. Aloha. Okay, so she's seventy and older. COVID vaccines for people who are seventy and older. So if you are seventy and older and live on Oahu, then you can call. You can contact me. It's out of our house. It's kind of like a drug deal. I'm not gonna say that. Too. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> but the nurse comes to our house and it does the... Okay, let's just move on. All right, so... Um, yeah, sorry about my Wi-Fi. I don't know what's going on. So, okay, Don, what is one thing that she is? Just one. Uh, she is a prophetess. Prophet, prophetess, yes. So she's a prophet. Um, Kaula, that's a prophet. What else is she? Napualani. Uh, compose mele song. Yeah. Yes. Pakumele, a composer. Good. Okay. Yes. Uh, what else do we have from Carly and Haley? Um, the creator of Hula. Yes, so Onohi is like a source. So she is the source or the creator of hula. She danced the first ever hula, I mean, recorded. And that was from here. And then uh, Kahuna, she is a priestess or a priest. Yeah, priestess. Okay, and then um, this last sentence. Let's go Naki Ohana. Can you read this last or second to the last sentence for us? Uh... Right here at Ua? Yeah, uh, yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, ua ai oya e huaka'i a ki'i ya 
lohi au uh, ho i ho i yeah yeah i kilowell okay okay uh, so let's see um, what you guys can come up with for that thank you mahalo eh wa ai o ya so oh yeah. what we they they go on a trip yeah to Kilauea. <laughs> very, so kind of, very close. So she went on a trip, and then uh, let's see what everyone else can come up with in the line. Erika, good job. Can you can you give us that one? You know, so she agreed to go get or fetch Lohi Ao and bring him to Kilauea. Perfect. So yeah, um, Lohi Ao was Pele's lover. We can turn this into a freaking Hawaiian studies class. Um, but Lohia was Pele's lover, and um, she agreed, Hiaka agreed to go on a trip to fetch Lohia from Kauai and bring him back to Kilauea. Okay? Um, of course, that's not it. If you want to learn the whole story, there's a puke, Hiaka uh, polio Pele, which I don't have right now, but somewhere. Um, please get it from Avaiolu if you want to learn more about this me'e olalo Hawaii. Okay, and this last part, Heme'e Olalo Hawaii Oya, she is a Hawaiian language hero. Um, all right, so that hopefully that helps you when you do your Havina later on. Um, let's see this one. Heaha kana oihana. Eho piri mai. Heaha kana oihana. Okay, Pamela, can you say this question for me, Mahalo Hawaii? Heaha kana oihana. What was her occupation? Perfect. What was her occupation? Okay, so from those, from that whole paragraph, if you guys can choose one thing that she did, um, or you can just translate this one about down here. The Hawaiian language hero, this Hawaiian language hero is a goddess. You can do that, or composer, priest, prophet, one of those. You can, yeah. Maybe type out this whole line in Hawaiian if you can. Kapua. I chose occupation just because that's what everyone else, you know, that's what they did. I mean, if my occupation was to be a god or a goddess, shoot, that would be the life, but <laughs> Buddha, Buddha is a god. Okay, uh, Lena Ala, god of eternally greeting Havina, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Lina, uh, what is your um, hea kana oihana? I said, he kai kaina mai ka i o pele ki ya me e o lelo hawaii. Good. So what does that translate to? This Hawaiian hero, um, or this Hawaiian language hero, is a good younger sister of Pele. Yes, she was a favorite younger sister of Pele. Um, and then she was a favorite because, you know, she held her in her poli. And she was the only one that agreed to go on this trip for her. Um, Pele asked all the other sisters, all the other Piyakas, they were like, no girl, you find your own man. But Piyaka agreed, okay? Uh, Haleaka, what did you get for this answer? He akua vahine ke me em olelo Hawaii. And what does that translate? Or oh, yeah, the bottom part. Yeah. So this Hawaiian. Yeah. So this Hawaiian language hero is a uh, goddess. Uh, There's a mistake. Shut. Okay, whatever. Too late now. Okay. Um, I think we're good with the translation part for Hiyaka. These we all translated these already, so that's Nikai. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Yeah. We have all the time in the world. Okay, so who knows this chat already? Kunihi Kamona. Okay. Yeah, some of us already. What we're going to do is we're going to um, probably learn maybe the first four lines this class, and we'll learn the next four lines next class. Okay, so again, we're taking Hawaiian outside of the box of just, you know, just this kind of thing, and we're going to incorporate hula last week we're incorporating only this week 
Um, I realized they didn't even teach Ehomai. So if you're still like week 16 and you're like sitting there doing Ehomai, sorry. But I mean, hopefully you learned it. Okay, so let's just go right into it. Kunihi Kamauna. Eho Pirimai, repeat after me. Kunihi Kamauna. Ikala Ie. Okay, um, Raven, can you repeat that after me? Um, with your mic. Eho Pirimai. Kunihi Kamauna. Kunihi Kamauna. Ikala Ie. Ikala Ie. Okay, my kai. So kuni kamauna ikala ie means the mountain stands steep in the calm. The mountain steeply stands in the calm. Okay. I'm just going to give you the words first and then we'll go over the imagery later on. Um, the next line, eho pirimai, o wai ale ale. La i wai lua. Um, let's get Tammy. Can you read this next part for us? O wai ale ale la i wai lua. Okay, so that means wai wai ale ale is in wai lua. So, um, if you can guess in the chat, what what island are we on with this with this oli? If you hear those two names or those two places, wai ale ale and wai lua. I mean, yeah, Harley. I mean, good 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 guess, Carly. Good try. <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so we're on Kawaii with this Oli. Okay, the next line, Eho Pinimai, Kuki Aela Ikalani. Okay, Kuki Aela Ikalani, let's have Kailani. If you can hold Pinimai, repeat after me. Kuki Aela Ikalani. Okay. Hukia uh, Elai Kalani, so something was pulled either towards or to the heavens. Okay, so what is being pulled towards the heavens? And that is the last line for tonight. Eho Pirimai, Kapapa Awai, O Kawai Kini. Okay, Mililani, Eho Pirimai, Kapapa Awai, Kapapa Awai, O Kawai Kini. Okay, so that is the bridge of Kavaikini. I'm not going to give you the story. I'll go over the story next week. Okay, so let's hear um, the first four lines. Or actually, let's hear the whole thing right here. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over it line by line. You guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, so uh, first line listening. Chanting at home, and then I'm calling a few of you to chant with me. Okay, I hope you mind. Kunihi kamauna. Okay, we'll split it up. Kunihi kamauna. Am I frozen again? No. Oh, well, I don't see lips moving. <laughs> Kunihi kamauna. Just kidding. Kunihi kamauna ikala ie. Okay, who wants to try? Akiko. Kunihi kamauna ikala ie. Yes. That's on a hundred. Period. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, that's a good thing. Sorry. Period is good. Um, okay. <laughs> Kapua. I was laughing. Wait, wait. Sorry. Period. Stop that. Kunihi kamauna ikala ie. 
Okay, good job. Napoilani? Okay, good job. Okay, so going into our next line. So the ending of the A ah goes to Okay, who wants to give us a try? Um, let's go with Olelo. Or, I know your name. Makamahi. <laughs> Shannon? Oh, I ale ale lai wai lu wai. Okay. Um, so let's try those first together. Okay. At home, on your own. I hope you or let's do it together. Kunihi and pa. Kunihi kamauna i kala ie. Oh, I ale ale lai wai lu wai. Yeah. We good? One more time for the people in the back. Ready and. Kunihi kamauna i kala ie. Oh, I ale ale lai wai lu wai. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, moving on to the next line. Um, I hope you mind. Who kia elai kalani? If you if you hear it, the okinas are really pronounced. Wai ale ale who kia ela? Okay. Who kia elai kalani? Who kia elai kalani? Okay. Let's go with um, malulani. Who kia elai kalani? Who kia ela ikalani? Okay. Um, Meleka? Who kia ela ikalani? Okay. Kapapa away yo kawai kini. Kapapa away yo kawai kini. It's a long one, but kapapa away yo kawai ki ni ni ni. Everyone said ni. Kapapa away yo kawai ki ni. And again, this is the way I learned it. You may have learned it differently in your halal or at school, but this is the way I learned it. And remember, ahe pau ka ike kahalo ho kahi. Knowledge is learned everywhere, not just in one place. Uh, Carrie. Kapapa away yo kawai ki ni. Kapapa away o kawai ki ni. Anela? Oh, my kai kari. Anela? Kapapa away yo kawai ki ni. Okay, good. Um, let's try the whole thing. The, the first four lines. And if you want to learn the next five lines, then you got to come back next class. Okay? So, kunihi. Hurricane? Okay, ready and go. Kunihi kamauna i kala ie o ai ale ale la i wai lu ai. Hu kia ela i kala ni kapapa wai o kawai ki ni. Yeah? Okay. Anyone want to try the first line by themselves? Carly, Carly and Haley, yeah, yes, sir. Carly. <laughs> okay. Kuni kamona i kala ie, o ai ale ale la i wai mu ai. Kuni a e la i kala ni kamapa o ai o kawai ki ni. That's one period. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so we'll learn the next four, the last five, actually, next class. Okay, good job, guys. All right, moving on. Um, let's go into our next me'e. me'e If you don't know who this is, maybe you should leave the class. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Just kidding. If you're new, I hope I don't. I'm not scaring you. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes. Exactly. So lehi ilani ovai ke ya me e olalo hawaii. Ovai ke ya me e olalo. Who is this Hawaiian language hero? Okay, and who is that? That's Kavena Pukui. My kai. America Vena Pukui ke ya me e olalo hawaii. Um, let's learn a little bit about her, shall we? Okay, I'm just going to read it. Out of everything you hear that I say, translate something. Just one sentence, okay? No need the whole thing, just one of the things that I say. Okay, ready? He kahu ike Hawaii o Mary Abigail kavena ula o kalani o hiiakai kapolio tele kawahine ai honua wigin pukui. So that name already you see is powerful because you have someone in there a name in there that we just learned about, yeah? Two people, actually. Um, okay. Wahanau ia oia makahome o haleola ma na alehu kau Hawaii i kala i o apelila i ka makahiki unikumavalu kanavalu kanaiva kumaluma. He loea oia he wahine hula he hakupuke he hakumele a he wahona ho i oia o kana no e au kupuna. He mee o lalo Hawaii oia. This one thing, even if it's just a word, translate one thing from this in the chat. Good. You know, I mean, everyone's going straight to the birthday, which I get, but you know, if you want to challenge yourself. Yeah, that's good. Uh, sorry, where are you, nurse? Sorry, where are you, um, Bianca? Oh, kahu, kahu, yes. So kahu is um, like, a, I'm gonna just say protector in this case. So she's a protector of something or like a keeper of something. What is she a keeper of? That's a good one, Molly Lenny, Hawaiian educator. Okay, I'll give you guys like 20 more seconds to translate what you guys can. Yes, good, Matthew and Kamai Lenny, thank you. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to ask, does anyone want to translate the whole thing for us? If not, I will. Any? Okay. Okay, so going to the beginning. Um, Mary Kavena Pukui, Mary Abigail Kavena Pukui uh, was a keeper of Hawaiian knowledge. Um, she was born in her home or her tutu's home of Haleola in Na'alehu Ka'u on the Big Island or Hawaii Island on April 20th, 1895. 420, okay. Um, Heloya Oya, she was a master. Um, Hevahine Hula Oya, she was a, a hula dancer. Hehakupuke, she wrote books. Hakumele, she composed songs. And he, she was a vaihona or an like repository or library of all of this no'eo kupuna, this Hawaiian ancestral wisdom. Okay, she was a hero. Um, with her, we're going to do something a little bit different too. Still in the melee realm. Hello haku one hanao, beloved are the sands of my birth. I did not even edit this thing. Okay, I might delete it again. So don't start your thing yet. I might delete it and change it. So yeah. Okay, so... Um, with what we just went over, Hehakana Oihana, what was her job? What was Mary um, Kavanapukui's job? Out of all the things that we just went over, choose one of them. Yeah, so Jeseni, she was, uh, Haleola was the name of her house. Good, Pamela. Pamela, Hehakana Oihana. He vahine hula ke yame e olelo Hawaii. Okay. Kapua, he akano o yana. Nale. He kahui ke Hawaii ke yame e olelo Hawaii. Okay. Shannon, he akano o yana. 
Hi. Um, he haku puke keia me e olelo vai. You know, and those aren't everything that she did. She did so much things. If you didn't know, um, I was joking about if you don't know who she is, but if you didn't know, she wrote the Hawaiian language dictionary or she compiled all the words. And she also wrote, okay, she wrote Nanai Ke Kumo. She wrote so many things. She recorded our Kupuna's um, Manaleo tapes and things and kept it at Mission Museum. So she is probably one of the single most reasons, single handedly, one of the most reasons. Single handedly, yeah, that um, reason why our Hawaiian language is alive because of all the work that she's done. So we owe a lot to this um, wahine, this me'e ola Hawaii. Okay. Um, this one should be my cousin. Okay. One more quick activity, or maybe not quick, but um, this is a mele called Kaunui. And what we're going to do with this mele is write our own verse of a song. So we're all going to be hakumele tonight. Okay. Um, I got this activity from my Kumu Kabe Lopez. You may know me, you may know who he is from Hula or from music or from UH Manoa. But um, he usually does this activity with the Mele Kaho Olave. I'm gonna do this activity with her Mele Kaunui, um, which is one of my favorites. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use her words and create our own verse um, to a maybe a 30 verse song now with all of us um what's it called but about our own homelands okay so can everyone write where they're like they're not where they're living but where they're born and raised i know we're gonna get all over the world kind so this is gonna be cool Oh shit, what I'm meaning. Yes, that's right. Okay, so let me just sing this melody for you. Again, Kaunui taking her to taking us to her birthplace. Hey Aloha, Kuone, Ana. Okay, so that's the verse. Um, so what we're gonna do with the, that word, with those words down here, is you're gonna create your own um, pauku. So in this first, the first line is going to say the same because that everyone can relate to that. Beloved are the sands of my birth. The next line is going to be specifically for your place. So you're going to go, oh, your place here. And then um, on the adjective that describes the place, which I have on the next page. And then um, Ika is going to show what it's famous for. So it's even, if it's famous for rain or famous for wind, you can put ua or makani. Um, or a flower, Oahu can be Ilima, Moloka'i can be Kukui, Maui can be Rosalani. So let's just do those first lines together, or those uh, that second line together. If you guys can all choose one, your place, an adjective, as well as a, <laughs> as well as a flower or a weather pattern. And if you need help translating, I can help you in the chat. Or yeah. Okay, here's some adjectives that might help you. Maybe screenshot it so I can go back to the next page. Or if you're following along, that's good. Illinois, yeah. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Just my kind. It is heaven on earth though. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Come, come, Thank you. So I'm going to have you go with, um, if you can take out Loa and put Ika 
and whatever Kailua is famous for. Kailua Pumehana i ka something, I don't know, Lanikai or i Lanikai, you can say that, yeah. Or Kaohao would be the name, yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, we got that one. Next, um, we're going to put this next part. Hehome nohumau naka something. What what it lives there? So for me, my first line is, or my second line is, Okevalo uka kaulana ika melia. So Kevalo uka famous for the plumeria flower because there was there used to be a lot of plumerias here. And since it's a Hawaiian homestead, my third line is Hehome no homau na ka Hawaii for the Hawaiians. It's a, a home where the Hawaiians dwell. I mean, yeah. But you can just choose like an object or a mountain or something that works in your favor for whatever you're talking about. Akiko, that's beautiful. Akiko, can you read your line for us, please? Kiko? Oh, yeah, Akiko. Can you read your. Yeah. Oh, Yapana, hie, hie, Ika Sakura. Yes, Akiko. Thank you, Akiko. Oh, Yapana, hie, hie, Ika Sakura. Beautiful. Okay. So, Hehome no Homo Naka, what? What is it? Um, what dwells there? Is it people? Is it turtles? Yes. Is it haleakala maikai? And uh, Makamai, you had your verse already on your um, on your havina, so you you power already, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this last line, kaa iva nani o. I I put another place. Papakolea, but you can do, I don't know. It, you, literally, you can put anything in anything. Like you can put any word anywhere um, and make it your own. But yeah, I just put another place. Like you can, if you live on Oahu, you can put Kaaiwaiwa Nani o Oahu or Kaaiwaiwa Nani o Michigan. Okay. Nice. Meleka, that's a good one. Pohaku, yes. Okay, so now I want you, if you guys pull your three lines or your four lines, can you write it all out um, and then paste it back into the chat? This can be publicly for everyone to see. And you just wrote your first song, or I don't know, maybe your, your first song, but yeah. Okay, Bianca, can you read that for us, please? Um, with the with the first line too. Wait, I think I messed up the one just now. Sorry, on it. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I did what twice. I um. Wait, did I? No, it looks good. Yeah. Um. So, ohaiku uluvehi ikaua hehome noho mau no kaola nui. Ka ai ai vaiva nani o Maui. What was that? I I actually was confused on that last line. So yeah, it's just um if you look up here, the wondrous beauty of what. Oh okay. So yeah, Maui works. Yeah. Okay. Any any place works except maybe I'm not gonna say. Never mind. Okay. Um. Who else? Erika, can you give us your verse? Hi. O Illinois Anuanu Ikahokea, He home no homo na ka kulina, Ke Aiva even nani o local Michigan. My kai, okay. So we have a Michigan, and let's get one more from the Pualani. I really like yours. <laughs> or Montreal Kanaka Kaulana Ika Hui I Hui. That chili. Yep. Hey, homie, no ho mao na ka polar bears. Uh, 
Ka Hawaii Ba Nani O British Columbia. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can turn that into song form. You can. Okay, I, I'll try, I'll try. Okay. Hey, aloha. assignments today or if you can on your Havina, maybe just record on the flip grid you singing the song <laughs> thank you um okay good we're gonna move on to our last one for tonight the rest of you guys can do for Havina. it's 7 30 so if you have to ha'alele uh, mahalo and um, we'll see you guys next week let me put the links in the chat one more time okay so those are the links if you need them um, okay, we went over him last week. We, we covered him or two weeks ago. Um, but who is this person? By Haley. By Carly or just Haley? Just Haley. By Haley. Okay, Kapua or Reef. Or Ivy, Ovai ke i a mea o lalo Hawaii. O kau i ke oli ke i a mea o lalo Hawaii. Okay, this is kau i ke oli. Um, come at me the third, and um, I'm gonna skip the paragraph because it's kind of similar to what we went over last or two weeks ago. So let's just skip that. But we're gonna focus on this o lalo no eo that he said. E ho pini mai he o puni pala pala ko. He o puni. Heo puni pala pala ko. Okay. Kai o na, can you repeat that after me? <clears throat> or can you hope pili mai? Okay. Heo puni. You can hear me? Yes. Okay. Oh. The bottom, I'm so sorry. Help uh -huh. me, pala pala ko. Okay. Um, okay, so that means mine is a kingdom of literacy. So he um, really promoted our Hawaiian people's education and whatnot, um, which I appreciate him for everything that he's done for our people. Um, and we're going to take that Olano Eo and change it to be um, something different. So Heopuni Palako'u, mine is a kingdom of literacy. Let's change it to three different things. Um, first is you're going to describe something about your nation. What kind of people do you have or what kind of kingdom do you have? Um, you can talk about Japan or Mexico. Um, fill, it, fill it in with an adjective, another adjective that you might like. Um, then you're going to do that same thing with your Ohana and then your Ola. Okay. So let's see um, what you guys can create using this sentence. So this is a Pepeke no Noa sentence, which I was supposed to get into. And then we had the hula class and everything. So everything changed up a little bit. But um, this is just a quick introduction into Pepeke no Noa or possessive sentences. Um, and I think it's easy enough for us to understand as of now. Um, but maybe in a few classes we're going to go deeper into pepek and nonoa which is it gets kind of tricky when you have a class o class all these kind of things okay do me a favor and write out your the line for me so heo puni blank ko'u because ko'u ko'a that could be an ohana i mean nui could be in everywhere too yeah okay good okay so as you guys create your lines we're gonna do a quick breakout room to in like maybe two minutes. And what I want you guys to do is read your paragraph that you guys made for your song or sing it if you wanna. And then read your three sentences that you guys made with this 
um, Pepe Kenonoa. Nice. Ohana Lokahi, yes, exactly. Um, and this last one, what is what do you appreciate about your life? Like what why is your life special to you? Is it, you know, um Raven, you have a question? Or Yeah. And I hope you guys like how class went today. It was a little bit different, but was it my kai like enough? Okay, good, 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 good. So each week this month, we're going to be focusing on the seven phrases of that old me, um, and we're going to use that to learn our olelo. You know, use their whatever to do our olelo half enough. So that's why it took me so long to create this. Um, this unit because I just wanted to make it relatable and related to what we what we learned in about our me'e. So there you go. And this gold and this gold background though. What kind of period? Mahalo Tami, yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna put you guys into your breakout rooms real fast. If you guys are ready. If not, just take your time inside the breakout room and your fellow homeowner can help you out. So again, you're reading your paragraph that you wrote for the song. And then um, you're going to read these three sentences that you created. Okay. Okay, let's go open the rooms. Okay, I'll, you guys can go and then I'll see you guys. I'll come into all of them, I think. Hui ho, Ivy, mahalo. Hello. Okay, so you guys want to read yours? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Carrie, you let go. Carrie, 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 your, your voice. <laughs> I think it was on and then I turned off. Okay, anyways. O Maui kila kila i ka lokelani, he home no homo na ka haleakala. And then, um, he o puni ha a he o kou. He o hana pupule kou. He o la ho o he no kou. Okay, good job. Harley. Right. The lines of the song and then the three sentences? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, California kaulana ika la he homi no homo na manu ka ai viva nani o kapakai komohana. The West Coast? Yeah, that works. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And, um, he aupuni nani kou he ohana olu olu kou he ola hoopo mai kai kou. Good. Okay, you guys can finish up. I'm gonna go to the other window. No. No ka ola nui ka ai 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 vai va. How do you say that? Ai vai Beautiful. <laughs> you guys all pause them or no. just first. Okay. Hey, okay. okay, so um mine said He aloha ku one hanau o wai anai pumehana ikala. 
he home noho mau na po naka pohaku ka aiva ka aiva iva nani o kala. Nice, beautiful. Okay. And then polar bears. <laughs> yeah. Did you want me to do that again? Yeah, I just read it for them, just so we can have a nice chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Montreal, Kaulana, Ika, Hui, Ihui. He homi no ho mao, Ika, polo, na, ka polar bears. Ka. Aiva, 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 Nanio, British Columbia. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you guys, are, you were able to use those words in this Hawaiian song. Yeah. So, um, you can you read the last three sentences, and then yeah, I don't know if you guys went over that already. Uh, not yet. Okay. Why? Hey, Marco. Opa, okay, my, um, I can kind of hear Pamela's verse, but I want to hear the Mexico verse. The song? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it was, O Mexico noi ika awewetu, he home no homau na ka kanaka, ka aivaivai nani o koyorkani. Oh, I love it. What was the first, um, a kaulana ika what? Um, was that a Spanish word? The first one about the flower? Yeah, what was the flower? Yeah, it, it's it's a tree. Oh, it's cool. It's a kind of tree. Its name is Awewete. Awewete. For some reason, I was like, La Cucaracha. And I was like, no, she didn't say La Cucaracha. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a very old tree. We have... Um, yeah, very old trees. They're oh. really old and really big. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. I think, I mean, maybe I'll give everyone a, lot more, a little bit more time, but you guys can just follow out for a little bit if you guys want. Hi. If not, you can go back to the main room. Hey. Inui toward the ocean. Oh, aloha ike kumo. Aloha. Ke olelo ne mako um i i i kavahi o na pohaku um o kailua. Oh, mekai ma kahi o kaoha or ai ah ah yeah um kapaa 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 kori. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, na pohaku. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. Okay. Did everyone read their paragraphs so far? Ai. Okay, I think we're good. Opa, makai. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main and then we'll wrap up. Mahalo, Kumo. Mahalo. Okay, good. Okay, hopefully that went well. Um, again, a little bit different, but I hope you guys liked how class went tonight because that's probably gonna how class is gonna be next week. We're gonna be doing different activities that, you know, still learning Olelo, but dif in different forms. And that's eventually what I wanna create, turn Eho Pirimai into virtual learning platforms that are different than the norm. Um, which we had, I just had to talk about this with Lena Ala and Kapua and Erika, but learning Olelo through the actual practice rather than just repeat after me, you know? Okay. So let's wrap up with our, um, okay. So I'm probably going to switch this one more time just because I found a bunch of mistakes, but that's my fault for winning too late. Um, just so that it's Mekai for everyone. But there's still four more heroes that you can learn about. And they're more about, um, not really activities, but more like watching a video and writing about their life or what Aloha Aina means to you down here, um, a translation, those kind of things. So learn more about them for your Ha'avina. Um, 
another hobby and is to record yourself creating sentences or creating your the songs that you made um, which the link is in the chat i'll send it one more time yes you want us to hold off in doing the exercise the Havina, until you refix whatever yes. yeah okay. please sorry and i know you're getting like thirty thousand. <laughs> uh, email notifications, but no you can problem. turn it off. You can turn those off if you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll sing the the line for you right after too. Um okay. Um but yeah, and then we again we have are these things are shirts going on? Um probably gonna be Paul this month, mid um the middle of this month. And then we're also going to be working with this Aloha Modern, selling these calendars that are uh, Ola Aloha Vai calendars, because um, we want to donate the proceeds to Anu Inoue, Kikula Kaipuri of Anu Inoue. So, um, yeah, if you didn't get a calendar yet, or if you want another Ola Aloha Vai calendar, this is the moon phases, some important dates for Aloha uh, You can click on this link at the bottom. Okay, our next meeting, that's Tuesday. I'll be more on it this weekend. I'll probably have it up by Sunday night, if anything, but yeah. Um, other than that, if you have questions, you can stay behind. If not, I'll see you guys later. Ahoy ho. So, haleaka. <laughs> Jesseni and everyone who just joined us for the first time. Ahui ho. Aloha, my love. Aloha, Ahi Ahi Kaku. Meleka, are you um, Manalani's? Oh, Aloha. Kalabai. Oh, thank you for joining us. Sorry, sorry, you're. I think you're, yeah. Empty your, your mic. Sorry, sorry. I, yeah. follow, I follow you and your mom as daily as possible. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> well, mahalo for joining us from Maui. Awesome. Hey, Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy ho, mahalo doi. Ahoy ho. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you for joining us, Kayona. Mahalo, Nui. Mahalo. See you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Carrie, where are you? Are you in Makai? Yeah, in California. Oh, my Kai. Good to see you. Hi. Ahoy ho. Mahalo kumu. Mahalo, huyo. Mahalo, huyo. Huyo. Hey. Oh, okay. You can stay there anyways. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Suck ups. Uh, suck ups. <laughs> I like waiting until the end.